The Formula One World woke up this morning, looked out of their curtains and saw dark clouds around Hockenheim. And about half an hour ago, the rain started to come down. Welcome to the Sunday Race Preview for the 2019 German Grand Prix. One that is already deemed to be exciting, with Hamilton and Verstappen on the front row, Leclerc 10th and Vettel 20th. But with the added spice of rain, this is going to be the race of the season. Let's take a look at the drivers and the Constructors' Championship coming in to round 11. So after two classic races in Austria and Great Britain, we move on to Germany, more specifically the Hockenheim Ring, for the first back-to-back -back German Grand Prix in years. After this weekend, we go to Hungary before the midsummer break, and then we head off to Belgium on the 30th to the 1st of September. Then we go to Italy for the last of the European races before Singapore, Russia, Japan as the flyaways, the America races in Mexico, United States and Brazil, and wrapping up the season in the United Arab Emirates for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton leads the title, 39 points clear of his teammate Valtteri Bottas. A staggering lead. Max Verstappen is third. He is well clear now of Sebastian Vettel. Charles Leclerc in fifth is just three points off of Sebastian Vettel. Gasly is sixth, Sainz seventh, Raikkonen eighth, Lando Norris is ninth, and Danny Ricciardo rounds out the top ten. And yet to score any points still this year, George Russell and Robert Kubica. In terms of the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes are dominating. 407 points to Ferrari's 243. It's now between Ferrari and Red Bull for second place in the trophy. McLaren, after a dominating few races, are up to fourth place in the Constructors' Championship, their highest since 2012. Renault are fifth. They are battling with Alfa Romeo. Racing Point, Toro Rosso and Haas still at the back in the midfield teams. And Williams still with no points on the board. What a dramatic day it was on Saturday in terms of qualifying. Everything that could have gone wrong for Ferrari did. And Mercedes came and stole the show with Lewis Hamilton, who's already feeling unwell in the morning, taking pole position number 87. Fan Fantastic performance from Mercedes and yet again poor from Ferrari. Let's start as ever with qualifying report and go through what happened first of all in qualifying one and the big news was it was Vettel who made a, shot, a shock exit. There was a strong turnout for the home favourites of Sebastian Vettel and Nico Hülkenberg and Hockenheim as there was reward and they were rewarded with conditions that were around 10 degrees Celsius cooler than what we saw on Friday in practice two. Qualifying, though, was only a few moments old when it became clear that there were problems for Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari. He's coming down turn five, the power bollocker, before the hairpin at turn six came on the radio and said, I have no power in the car. He came back, they took the engine cover off, they tried to get the work done. It looked to be a, a MG UK issue, a technical issue, but unfortunately, with... Um, Later on in the session, it was uh, deemed to have a problem with the airflow to the turbo. They won't have time to rectify it. Sebastian Vettel eliminated in qualifying one and starts 20th at the back of the grid and may have to start from the pit lane. We are waiting for confirmation on that. Uh, there was better news for teammate Charles Leclerc, though, although not for long, uh, who had looked impressive throughout the Friday practice in FP2, topping the session and topping free practice three. Uh, just He just required one run in the opening session and topped the time sheets for Stappen was second, four tenths off. Mercedes continued to struggle on home soil. Hamilton uh, with his best was six tenths slower and he was nearly eliminated as in his first run he hit traffic as well um, behind them there was a tense uh, tussle to escape qualifying one with four down uh, to six with fourth down to 16 separated by just three tenths of a second uh, as they reached the climax of the session racing points Lance Stroll hauled himself into Q2 for the first time since Japan in 2018 15 races and finally he's back in the he's back in the uh, Q2 running so great news for Lance Stroll and uh, also went through was Sergio Perez as well so that new racing point uh, update that they brought here to Germany has worked a treat and it's great news to see that they're up there fighting again um, moving on further down as well 
Uh, McLaren, meanwhile, struggled for the first time in seven races, uh, with Carlos Sainz 13th, Lando Norris exiting Q1 in 16th as well. Uh, having appeared to beat Alexander Albon as they completed their final laps, Albon on the Williams Jr. of Russell and competed to join Norris and Vettel in an early exit in qualifying. So just to confirm, knocked out in qualifying one was Lando Norris, Alexander Albon, Robert Kubica, George Russell and Sebastian Vettel. On to qualifying two now then, and it was Ricardo who was knocked out as Lewis Hamilton for the first time this weekend led a session. Both Mercedes plus Leclerc and Verstappen opted to head out on the medium compound tyre, uh, while the rest of the field stuck with soft tyres as part of second qualifying got underway. Pretty straightforward for Hamilton and Bottas, the duo completing laps that would comfortably see them through, but Leclerc ran wide at turn one, and as a result... Bear Michael Mazzi, the race director's uh, discretion, his lap time was deleted. That forced him to go out again and put another lap on the tyres. He will be starting the race on, but it's been raining, so it's probably an intermediate start. If it rains, it could be a safety car start, then the five lights start, so it's full wet or intermediates. We'll get onto that later on. So, Q2 tyres do not look that worrying. It was a pretty straightforward, as I said, for Hamilton and Bottas, but um, if you look again, Verstappen reported a loss of power. And had to retreat to the pits. In the commentary box, we were saying, oh no, it's happened again. Are we going to have Vettel 20th and Verstappen 15th? Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the case because, fortunately, he was able to get it back out on the track. But the team opted to swap for the soft tyres uh, for the run as he headed out for the final four minutes. Despite missing the apex at the hairpin, the rest of the lap was super committed as he continued and went fourth to ensure his place in the pole shootout. Mega final lap for Kimi Raikkonen uh, saw him set the fastest middle sector of all and went up into sixth, a tenth ahead of Sainz, who has found some pace in a sluggish opening session. The battle for the final few places in, in the top ten was very, very close. Nico Hulkenberg got through in eighth. Uh, teammate Danny Ricciardo was off the pace by just 0.033, and that put him down into 13th place. Uh, Alpha, and we just have a quick thing as well. Looks like the uh, Hockenheim organiz organisers don't have the same uh, consideration because it looks like that they are not going to dry the track before the race starts. So that's breaking news. How can I am going to dry the track before the race starts? So it's going to be a wet track and just going to have to wait for the sun to dry it. But there's no sun there. It's, it's going to rain even harder. So it looks to be a wet start. Thank you very much for that uh, notification. So there you go. That's even more dramatic, isn't it? We'll keep an eye on that. As we said... Uh, at Ricardo went 13th, Antonio Alfa's Antonio Giovinazzi went in 11th, and as well. So knocked out in qualifying two, Antonio Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen, Daniel Ricardo, Danny Kvyat, and Lance Stroll. Qualifying three was where it all happened. Mercedes deliver home pole as Charles Leclerc suffers disaster. And you'll be able to hear more of that later on as well. But first off, this looked like Leclerc's uh, pole to lose, but we never got the chance to see him in the session. Uh, he, what he looked like, the Monocast driver climbed out his Ferrari with seven minutes to go without even setting a lap time. At that point, Hamilton was only on provisional pole with a 1.11.767, an absolute staggering lap time, beating the lap record. But uh, it was a fuel system issue that put Charles Leclerc out of qualifying. No such wish for Mercedes, though. Hamilton setting the pace in the opening runs, four tenths quicker than Verstappen, who went second. Bottas was third, and as the trio retreated to the pits, uh, but that it also that run gave Lewis Hamilton his first pole at Hockenheim since 2008. Uh, of course, the race he won after having a bit of an issue early on in the race. Verstappen was second, Bottas was third, uh, with Gasly fourth, Raikkonen fifth, Grosjean surprisingly in sixth place as well, from Sainz, Perez, Hulkenberg, and Leclerc rounding out the top ten as well. Racing Point made their first Q3 appearance since Baku. Perez was seventh. Hockenberg maintains his 100% record of reaching Q3 time uh, every time he's appeared at Hockenheim with ninth for Renault as well. But uh, it's not all over for Charles Leclerc. Rubens Barrichello won from 18th on the grid back in 2000. Uh, so it's not over for Sebastian Vettel either as well. But it looks like the rain could be in the year. Well, it certainly is because it's already started raining. So let's take a look at how they line up on the grid for the 2019 German Grand Prix. Here's the grid then for the German Grand Prix in Hockenheim. Lewis Hamilton on pole position 
alongside Max Verstappen on row one. Row two, Valtteri Bottas and Pierre Gasly. Row three, Kimi Raikkonen and Romain Grosjean. Row four, Carlos Sainz and Sergio Perez. Row five, Nico Hockenberg and Charles Leclerc. Row six, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kevin Magnussen. Row seven, Danny Ricciardo and Danny Kvyat. Row eight, sees Lance Stroll and Lando Norris. Row nine, Alexander Albon and George Russell. And row ten, sees Robbie Kubica and Sebastian Vettel. However, penalties applied. Lando Norris now starts at the back of the grid in 19th place along with Sebastian Vettel. So that promotes Alexander Albon to 16th, George Russell to 17th, and Robbie Kubica to 18th. And Lando Norris now goes down to 19th place. The German Grand Prix is ahead of us, and it's going to be a wet one. Lewis Hamilton on pole position then, and I don't think we need to go through the weather guide, do we? Raining. Absolute rain at this circuit. There's more chance of the, of the rain happening during the race as well, so keep an eye out for that. Weekend times then. We'll see you on Monday at 8 o'clock for the uh, Grand Review podcast as well. And, of course, we've got some more details coming up next week with the F1 game as well. So that should be quite fun. But that's it from Germany. A wet German Grand Prix looks to be happening. It is going to hopefully be the race of the season. We've got Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen alongside of the front row of the grid. The two Ferraris are going to fight their way back up through the field from 10th and 20th. Lando Norris standing from the back of the grid as well with a new battery issue problem. But this is going to be a great German Grand Prix. Enjoy it. It's live on Sky Sports F1, the Sky Sports main event. Highlights are on Channel 4. And it's live on BBC Radio 5 Live throughout. We'll see you tomorrow for the race podcast. It was all here though. Enjoy what's going to be very entertaining German Grand Prix.